Hi everybody, welcome to your first Scots language lesson for the English department at Bertha Park. I know some of you didn't get a chance to say hello already. My name's Mrs Smith and I'm the new English teacher in the department, so it's lovely to meet you and I'll be looking forward to getting to know you all a little bit better over the next few weeks. So, these lessons are going to be slightly different from your English lessons. They're going to be hopefully something a bit different and a bit fun for you to do. And what we're going to be focusing on is drama, right? And doing drama in Scots. So we're going to be having a wee look at building on what you already know about the Scots language and also thinking about writing our own drama scripts in Scots or including a little bit of Scots language in those. Okay, so looking at the weekly plan, this is what we've got coming up. So starting today, week one, we're just going to do a, a wee bit of a gentle recap into what you already know about Scots, thinking about the basics and getting you introduced to a little bit of hopefully new and exciting vocabulary. Week two, we're going to be having a little look at the structure of a drama script and how they're put together. Week three, we're going to be thinking a little bit about dialogue and speech and how to incorporate that into your script. Week four, we're going to plan out the actual story that you're going to be producing. And week five, we'll get back together and we'll have a wee look through the scripts and get them checked. So we're going to start off with a, a wee spelling starter task, something that you're used to from English already. So we're going to be using a different dictionary this time. This is a Scots language dictionary, so you can get it at the link there. Or if you'd like, you can also follow this second link and you can download a Scots online dictionary app, which is quite handy as well. Okay, so the words that I'd like you to focus on today are crabbit, bairn and bonnie. So what I'd like you to do is have a wee think and see if you can come up with a sentence using these words and just as you have done in English before, post that sentence on your distance learning channel. So pause the video and have a wee go at that just now. Okay, so moving on to the main part of today's lesson, what we're going to do first is we're going to be watching a little video. So I'll just pause this. Scotland has three indigenous... ...for you right away. So you can watch this on YouTube, you can follow the link there to get to it. And once you've watched, what I'd like you to do is have a wee think about three new things that you've learned about Scots from watching the video. And I want you to write those three things down on a new section in your OneNote called Scots Language. And if you can't see that new section at the moment, it might be the case that you need to add that yourself. But that's where I'd like you to put those three new things that you've learned about Scots from watching the video. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a go at a Scots crossword. So you can complete it by taking a screenshot and annotating it on your iPad. And if there are words in the crossword that you don't recognise, then you can use the Scots Online Dictionary or the app if you've downloaded it to give you a wee hand with that. What I'd like you to do as well is as you're working through, I'd like you to make a note of the words and write the clue next to them. So don't just write the answer, but write the clue as well. So to give you a wee example, I'll do the first one for you. So it's beastie. All right, and I'd like you to write next to it the clue. So that's a creature or animal. And that's just so that later on, if you want to use these words in your drama script, you already know what they mean and you're expanding your vocabulary a little bit there. All right, and then you'll go on and you'll do the rest yourself. So here we go. Here is the crossword for you. So you can see the words are along the bottom there that you're having a wee think about and your clues are at the very bottom of the page. So if you pause the video now, see if you can have a go at that. And that's us for today, that's the end of the lesson. So well done. If you've got any questions about that or anything doesn't make sense to you at all, 
then remember that you've got a tutorial time on a Thursday and you can join that tutorial time and ask any questions at all about what's going on. All right, good luck, well done.